we begin with that deadly train crash in Philadelphia. Investigators saying tonight the train's windshield may have been hit by an object shortly before it derailed. And now this troubling possibility, three different trains just a few miles apart, all hit by objects all within just a few minutes of each other. Here's Amtrak 188 investigators focusing on that small hole right there on the right. And this, a different train also struck in the windshield. Here, another Amtrak train, a passenger car window hit. The FBI is also involved. So many questions tonight and ABC's Philip Mena tackling all of those questions. He leads us off from Philadelphia. The FBI tonight looking closely at this damage on the left part of the front windshield of Amtrak 188. And if there's any link between similar damage on two other trains the same night of that derailment that killed eight passengers. There's a particular uh, damage there that we want them to, to look at for us. An Amtrak conductor who once worked on the 188 weighing in tonight. There had to be impact on the window to get that kind of damage. We have had our train stoned before. I mean, all, all kinds of stuff happens on the Northeast Corridor. If you name it, I've seen it. The first report of a projectile coming from a southbound Amtrak on the Acela line. Passengers on board say they heard something hit around 9.05. And immediately I'm like, wow, we just got hit by something too. That's really strange. Minutes later, a local commuter train is also struck by an object. An unknown object made contact with that train, shattering the windshield. The impact on that local train here on these tracks so severe there was forced to make an emergency stop. Around that same time, 188's engineer Brandon Bastion is overheard saying his train was also hit by something. At 928, the fatal derailment. But a big question, even if something did hit this train, could it have caused 188 to accelerate to twice the speed limit so fast that it flew off the rails? Two possibilities. One is that the projectile damaged the train, so it started to speed up on its own, or the engineer was hurt and he couldn't slow it down. Tonight, federal rail safety regulators instructing Amtrak to employ technology that could have prevented this accident. Right now, FBI investigators are helping the NTSB analyze the wreckage, and depending on what they find, this could turn into a criminal investigation.